We're going to talk about a new vector here at Pure Motion that we have introduced in our uh, weight training program. And it can be easily introduced in any strength and conditioning program. Uh, I'll be honest, you know, it's, it's not really a new vector. I think it's been underrated, underestimated due to conventional training. What do I mean by that? Well, if you look here on the whiteboard, traditional uh, strength and conditioning programs, they rely heavily on um, uh, power lifting, uh, Olympic lifting, movement patterns, maybe a little straw man. And that, that, that is all great. We're not uh, gonna talk against it. I think they have done a good job. The question is if there's a better way. So going back here to the whiteboard, you know, most of the uh, traditional lift, like you know, jerk, snatch, barbell squat, and deadlift, and any of their variation, pretty much happen in one plane, or, or the force generation is pretty much generated in what we call the y-axis, which is gravity. Regardless, if you're doing a squat, where you start with the bar, you know, behind your neck or above the floor, or, you know, on the floor, you're gonna be moving that bar up and down, okay? And that's pretty much what conventional strength and conditioning is all about to develop athletic performance. We believe that it, it's more than that, you know, and, and let's face it, when it comes to sports, uh, gravity or the Y axis is just one vector. What is a vector? Well, a vector, well, let's put it this way, force that we generate from the ground up or ground-based force development, force by itself is a vector. And a vector pretty much is defined by two components, magnitude and direction. How do, how, how, you know, where is the vector represented here? Well, the vector really is represented by first the magnitude, which is the weight that the user manage, and the direction is the vertical component. Now, let's take, for example, a sport like football, either lineman or linebacker. You know, where, uh, at the, at the, where, the, where the ball snap, the lineman or the linebacker react. But seldom that person is going to react vertically, this way. It's going to react pretty much in a diagonal uh, angle. All right? And we're going to get into that a little bit more. So my point is that it's not vertical. And that person, when he moved forward, he pretty much you know, started on the ball of his feet in order to get ready to make that first step to drive forward. So that's, where we, we, that's what we're looking at. We're looking at what about if we integrate not only gravity, because it's there, we need to acknowledge it, it's right here, but also bring what we call the X. The X, like in trigonometry, remember, you have the X and the Y. Well, here the X is a force. What kind of force? It's a horizontal force. But that force is really a cheer force that allow us, you know, in sports or in any, you know, even walking or running to move forward. So by bringing these two vector forces into the weight room, we can get as strength and conditioning coaches, we can put together programs that are more sports specific. Weight room. Well, at Pure Motion, the way we do it is with our Renegade system. Okay, the Renegade system is nothing else than our anchor point swivel device that goes, you know, at the bottom or at the other end of the Olympic bar. Okay? This line here, okay, represents actually the Olympic bar, which in geometry, if you go back to your geometry class, that would be the radius of a circle. And the anchor swivel point, the renegade, is the center of the circle, okay? So now, we create an environment where the user, the athlete, can lift the system up and down, but it's not gonna follow the traditional straight up and down axis, okay? So what we're doing here is, we're still gonna incorporate gravity as the user lift the weight at certain point, but notice that when we go from ground up 
there's a displacement of x1. x1 is the horizontal force and is related to the direction. See? You know, we can lift anything you want. And whatever you lift, it's always going to have the magnitude, the weight. But for sport specific movement patterns, we need to start incorporating additional forces or vectors in this case in the horizontal component. And if the user lifts the renegade system even more, it creates a, a different vector force in the horizontal plane of a different direction. Okay. How that translate, you know, to, to real life, to real weight room environment, if you come here, this is what's happening. If I live up to this point, let's say somewhere here, I'm still going to work gravity, okay? Gravity here, gravity, gravity here. I'm going to have a displacement in the horizontal line, which is the horizontal force, okay, which is the shear force, which is represented with this line here, which I, I uh, extrapolated and put it here. When you combine gravity with the shear force within the horizontal plane, you create the resultant. This is the resultant force from the production of these two. That is the same resultant that athletes, let's say linemen, when they drive forward, all right, that, you know, driving forward, the summation of gravity with the horizontal force displacement create that uh, resultant, okay? And that is what we bring to the pure motion strength and conditioning program by incorporating the renegade system. So see, there is a reason, there's a science behind it, okay? And, and, we, and we use, now knowing that science, understanding it, now you are, you, know, you are in a better position to understand why every accessory that we design is designed in a way to, that complies with these principles of incorporating you know, uh, gravity with the horizontal uh, vector to create different resultants. Okay? And that's going to vary. That's going to vary depending upon the accessory that we have here. Now I'm going to show you um, one of the practical uh, approaches that we take to teach um, individuals, athletes, users that has been trained this way and how we can convert them or educate them in a snap to understand how to incorporate the second vector into their weight training or strength and conditioning program. So here I have a dowel that represents the athlete or the user. And here I have just a bar, just a traditional bar. All right? So as the user lifts the bar, if they try to lift the bar straight up, look what's going to happen. There's going to be a separation. And that separation is not desirable. But they pick that up from the traditional you know, Olympic lifting uh, movement patterns that they do right now in the weight room. What we are, uh, what we're trying to achieve is to teach them to lean forward just enough so they can maintain that trajectory of the bar. Okay, but by doing that, now look, we create that shear force or that horizontal uh, force line, which is the X axis that I, I spoke to you earlier on the whiteboard. In summary, what are we trying to communicate? Well. As strength and conditioning coaches, I mean, our goal is to enhance athletic performance or athleticism. So, I mean, you be the judge. If you're training football athletes, combat athletes, court athletes, basketball, volleyball, whatnot, where you know that there's more than just the vertical axis or gravity, okay, represented by the traditional, you know, Olympic lift, where all the time we're going straight up, all right, here and here, and all, all that good stuff, okay? But all you're working is on that vertical force line. You, you have the choice to keep doing that, 
and or you can add now the horizontal axis using the same tools that you have and just adding some additional accessory like the Clean and Jerk Pro and the Renegade system where now you know you get you get you get in your neutral start, put the system puts you in a neutral start, okay? But immediately, see as I go up, see how by leaning slightly forward, I start incorporating that horizontal force line. Or you know what we call that shear force production. But it's still but it's still working gravity. Okay? So you can lift, let's say, 200 pounds. You can lift 200 pounds vertically for athletic development, or you can lift 200 pounds by incorporating gravity, horizontal force line, shear force, and get that resultant. That's what you want. I hope this is helpful. Talk to you soon.